Oh, um, Gareth Hughes. Mr Chair, kia ora, namihinui kia koto, kia ora, I rise to speak in favour of keeping it 18. I want to outline my reasons. Raising it isn't fair, raising it won't be effective, and raising it won't deal with the real issue, which is the serious cultural historical problem our country has with alcohol. I want to share some of my views, because I think I've got a unique view. I'm probably the only member in this House who still gets ID'd for alcohol. Um, I think it shows the reforms last time Parliament turns its attention have worked. Because when I was 16, and when the age was 20, I could go into a pub. When I was 16 and the age was 20, I could still drink rocket fuel on the street. What we know is we're cracking down on uh, lack of IDs, we've got some room to go, and in fact we could clamp down further on supply to minors. What we do know is since those reforms, youth drinking has actually declined according to numerous studies. I want to share also that you might not know this about me, that I used to be a barman across the road at backbenches. There I saw the problem, it wasn't youth drinking, it was inappropriate drinking inappropriate drinking no matter what the age was. There I saw regular alcoholism, I saw regular intoxication, I even saw MPs binge drinking and intoxicated across the road. It might be a surprise. I don't want to shock Order. anyone in the House. I don't think you should make a reference. I think that's an inappropriate remark and ask the member to withdraw it. Uh, Mr Speaker, I withdraw. Uh, Gareth Hughes. Thank you, Mr Chair. I mean, the real issue is irresponsible consumption, irregardless of the age. Mr Chair, raising the age isn't fair. On your 18th birthday, you're given a raft of rights and you're given a raft of responsibilities. You can vote, you can fight, you can smoke, you can gamble. You can even get elected to a council, as Jamie Lee Ross saw. And under these changes, you couldn't go buy a bottle of wine to have with dinner. It's astounding that the student volunteer, army volunteers in Canterbury, under this proposal, wouldn't be able to buy a six-pack after a hard day's shoveling. It's unfair, it's discriminatory, and it's scapegoating young New Zealanders. Like raising, sorry, lowering the blood alcohol level for under 20-year-old drivers, it's easy to target the under 20-year-olds and ignore the real issue. It's easy to target young Kiwis and ignoring the real problem. It sends the signal we're dealing with the problems, but we're not. It won't be effective at reducing harm. We know that 92% of problem drinkers, heavy drinkers, are over 20. It purposefully ignores the real issues, which is price, availability, the $70 million spent annually on alcohol advertising. And lastly, it, it ignores the real issue, which is our cultural problems. The split age will be confusing and it won't work. It sends the wrong signal and there's no evidence that it will work at all. It's only going to benefit the pub owners and encourage people to pile into town. In my city, a third of the crime occurs in the Golden Mile, mostly as a result of alcohol. Why would we want to push our young men and young women downtown into that environment where we know crime, sexual abuse is happening because of alcohol now? So, in summary, raising it isn't fair, won't be effective, won't address the real problem. We're missing the chance to take a bold, honest approach to the real issues facing our countries, but sadly all we're doing is scapegoating, discriminating young New Zealanders. It's not fair, it's not on. I'm going to call Ian Lees Galloway. Thank you very much, Mr Chair. I have listened to the impassioned contributions that members have made this afternoon. I've, uh, I've watched